So I'm starting to think that I ought to document some of my gigs because who knows how long I'm going to have the gigs. And they might be of some use to somebody in the future. So I've been the bass player for the Daytime Emmy Awards for the past four years. My most recent performance was this past weekend. When I tell people that I play the Emmy Awards, I always mention the fact that there are two types of Emmy Awards. There's the primetime Emmys, which I don't play yet, and the daytime Emmys, which I do. The daytime award show is in its 46th year. I also play the Creative Arts Show, which honors the people behind the camera in daytime television. The Creative Arts Show is never televised and is usually the Friday before the Daytime Awards oh on God, Sunday. Go, 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 yeah! The Daytime Emmys isn't on syndicated television, but you can watch it online and on YouTube. It's an exciting gig every year, and it's a lot of work too. Here's a behind the scenes peek at what a gig like this is like. So I'm in the parking structure of the Pasadena Civic Auditorium. Tonight is the Friday night performance of the Creative Arts Emmy Awards. So it should be a great gig. I'll be taking you guys through all the details. Loden is at 11.30 a.m. But I have some gear so I show up at 11 to drop it off with production. The crew that helps the band, they're really on task and professional. Here's what the walk up to the stage looks like. Then it's time for setup. I'm using my Galeon Kruger RB1001 head. That's my main bass head. I have two Eden cabs, a 410 and a 115. They sound massive. It's a great rig. I decided to bring my Music Man Stingray to this show because one of the pieces calls for slapping and the four string ray sounds great with that. I also have my polytune pedal, which I use as a tuning mute between cues. And I have my book. I live and die by my book. My main priority is to make everything easier for Caleb, the musical director. Caleb wrote or arranged all the cues, and his in ear monitors communicate with the truck, the producers who are running the show. Caleb communicates through his talkback mic to the band and he prepares the cues and counts us off as well as cutting us off before the next segment begins. It's a lot of responsibility and the last thing he needs to worry about are bass player issues. I try my best to nail my parts and to make the band sound amazing. And they do, the band itself couldn't be better. I get to play with world class players every year. And they're a real good hang too. Hal and I are a solid bass slash drums unit. Hal has worked on music for The Greatest Showman as well as Fosse Verdon on FX right now. Check it out. I can't emphasize how much a show like this is comprised of many moving parts all working together to pull off the best show possible. My role is a single tooth on a gear called the band. That gear has to work in conjunction with the entire machine, which is the show. The production, camera crew, hosts, presenters, grips, sound engineer, security. Everyone has to be on task. I can't be a diva or hold up the show or rehearsals in any way. I am a tool called bass and I have to function properly or else there's no reason to keep me around. Our Friday opener features David Osmond. It's a fast jazz walk written by the one and only Steve Allen. David Osmond is the nicest guy and super professional by the way. It's 
time to put on the tux and get ready for the show. The Creative Arts Awards runs from 7 to 11 p.m. About three quarters of the way through, it gets tough to maintain focus after all those cues, but it's actually really great practice for Sunday's show. At 11 p.m., we wrap up and go home. So it's Saturday morning. There's a 9 a.m. call time for today's rehearsal for the Sunday show. It's gonna be a good one. Saturday morning. We're going to rehearse the show opener in memoriam and cues slash transitions for Sunday. It's a lot of hurry up and wait. Production needs about a hundred things to go right before a segment can run. If anything needs fixing, we just have to wait for those things to get fixed before we continue. It's life. For the in memoriam, the band has a click track in our monitors. Caleb has to conduct us because the in memoriam has a lot of different tempo changes. So he's trying to keep us on task. My strategy for that is to keep Caleb in my peripheral vision while I'm looking at my music stand as well. Sunday's here. There's a lot of work to be done. We sound check right away and rehearse throughout the day. This is the backstage Hall C. This is where the presenters and the guests all mingle before the show. The opener features Elmo and Abby Kadabi from Sesame Street. This may well be the highlight of my entire musical career. Caleb did a great arrangement of the Sesame Street thing. One, two, three, four! at our feet to see the camera's view of the stage. Abby's puppeteer Leslie was awesome by the way. Elmo's was too, they're both great. Here's the red carpet before the show.
Before we perform, Caleb goes over the entire show with us so we can have a rough idea of how the night will go. We actually don't know who the winners are before the show. As the show's going on, Caleb hears maybe one cue or two before the segment where they present the winner who the actual winner is or what the winning cue is specifically. So he'll tell us DR3 or DR4 depending on who the winner is and we have just enough time to find the cue before he counts us off while the presenter opens the envelope. It's an interesting fact about it. We don't know who the winners are. We only know maybe a minute before. The show is about to begin. I have a pretty good system in place using my cue sheet and a pencil. I try to stay two or three cues ahead in my mind so that I'm not caught by surprise. I'll play your game, Trebek. Oh, yep. Amy Poehler presented Judge Judy with a Lifetime Achievement Award. We had no idea who was going to be presenting right until Presenter X was announced. Overall, I can't tell you how much of a thrill it is to have an experience like this. Part of the impetus for making this video was to document a cool gig I get to do because I can't guarantee that I'm going to have the gig next time. Any number of things could happen between now and next year's Emmys. For now, all I can do is be grateful for the opportunity. Thanks to Caleb, the band, and the National Academy for Television Arts and Sciences for deciding to go with a live band. Thanks so much. We love it. It's been a blast. If you like this video, I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you thought, what could be improved upon. I plan on releasing some more content soon, so let me know if you're interested in more stuff like this. Thanks a lot, and have a good one.